Hi, everyone, and welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku for the evening of Thursday, September 26th. I'll start by putting a 6 in two spots in row 3. These 9s can be put in in the middle rows. I get a 3. I think that's the only repeat digit I get. In the bottom, only one will work, but I can place it. And because I have the ones in the middle columns and the bottom three rows, that's as much as I get. Okay. But I just saw something else interesting. If you look at row seven, one, three, four, five, eight are placed, right? So I need two, six, seven, and nine. Well, this, these three of the digits, it must be six. It simply can't be anything else. And now this is neither two nor nine, so it must be seven, and therefore these two end up being two nine. Now, I had originally seen when I first looked at this that two and nine couldn't go here, and two and nine couldn't go here, so two and nine were forced there, but I saw this two nine pair before the seven or the six which is a little interesting. Now the 7 and the 6, well, the 6 actually does help me with column scanning on the right. The 7, unfortunately, does not. But if I look by rows, I can place a 3 in column 3, region 7. 1 has already been placed in the middle columns, and I think that's all I get there. On the bottom, or the rightmost, I can place a 9. I think this is all I get. It is. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 in region 9. I need 4, 5, 7, and 8, two of which are ruled out of that cell at the far right, at the far bottom of the grid. Okay, this was not as fruitful as I'd hoped. Uh, this one can't be 1, 2, 3, 6, or 8, or 5. Let's see, what else has a lot of things in it? It'll be the right and the top. These can't be 2, 4, 6, 7, or 9. These are 1, 3, 5, 7, or 8. Looking at the region. Seven here is annoying. See, these two are not 4, 6, 7, 9. Okay, so this can't be 2, and these aren't 2 by this one in the region, and this one's not 2 by that. So what I should have seen was the hidden 2 in column 9 immediately. Therefore, by my pencil marks, 3 is placed in the region. 6, column 7, and so that tells me where 3 goes in column 3. And do I get some help in this row? Yes, I do. They can't be 2, 3, 7, 8. Okay, these aren't 2, 3, 7, or 9. 1 and 5 for the odd digits. I can't, and it sees a 2, so... I'm left with this pattern. Okay, well, oh, these two nines in one of these is a nine. Okay, this cell, I can select just that one, is one, four, five, no, not six, it could be eight, it could be nine. Okay, 
Uh, let's see. These in row five can't be one, two, three, five. And seven, nine for the odd digits that are left, or four, six, eight for the evens. I don't see anything useful with an eight. Okay, these can't be two, three, eight by row. One can't be here or here. Unfortunately, that leaves three possibilities for one in region four because either of the top corners can still work. Row two can't be three, four, six, nine. And this is not helpful at all. Uh, these can't be 1, 6, or 9. In region 2. Okay, this is 4 fifths of a 2, 3, 5, 7, 8 quintuple. Now, I, I totally missed the crossing on 4, which forces it right there. Because... These two fours rule all those cells out, and this cell is ruled out by the four in column five looking up. But the four in column four places the six. Uh, whoops, I meant to take six out. Five. Okay, so this is not two, and therefore must be three, five, seven, or eight. So if I'd seen this first, that would have been a two, three, five, seven, eight quintuple, and then there, where would four go? So now four is placed there. Column six. That places an eight, which means there's a lot of things that can't be eight in the same column, and it takes out eight in a row, and this now can't be four, eight either. That derives a seven, nine pair that's left in row five and in region four. So these aren't seven and these aren't seven by that in a region. So the seven is placed in column five, region five at the very bottom. And one, four, five, six is here. Again, where does nine go in the row? It goes there. So I've got a 4, 5, 7, 8 quad in column 7 that interacts with the same digits in region 9. These now can't be 3, 5, 7, or 9. So I have 1 for an odd digit and all my even options. See, these two are 5 and 9 for the region. That cell at the top left has a 9 looking at it, which means I know the order. That'll place a few more digits in region 6. This can't be 4, and that's not... Well, amazingly enough, 1, 5, 6, triple, and this is the first one I've seen that's not disambiguated easily enough, but 2358 derived quad, where does 7 go in the region? There's only one spot for it in region 2. Let's see, these aren't 4, and so that means there is a purple thing I can derive, and oh look, I think there's an orange one here, because where do 4 and 7 go? These are the only two spots, and this is the only space for 4. In column 8, that places the 7. So far, this has been relatively straightforward. 
Okay, this has one, three, five, eight, nine. This is for five. Well, actually, neither can be three, so these are one, five, eight, nine without looking at the columns. Okay, one, four, nine. Well, six is still here. Two, three, five, six, eight, along with seven. Now, the key here to notice is. These two sevens rule out everything in those rows. So these two have to be seven also. And because I have six and seven in the same region, guess what? That turns into a derived six, seven pair. Three, five, eight, triple in row three. Where does two go in the row? Easy enough. This is two thirds of a three, five, eight. This is the other part of three, eight for column four. One, two, four, seven, nine. So these are from three, five, six, and eight. And this is now three fourths of a three, five, six, eight down here in region eight. This is two, nine along with five. Well, this sees two and nine, so it places five. And therefore, that's the other of two, nine to fill out column six. Let's see, these aren't five anymore. Three, six, eight, that's forced. Okay, this two nine and this two nine only sort of interact. These can't be one, two, five, eight, nine. So they are three, four, six, seven. That will finish row eight off. Uh, I just scanned again. This is a four, six, seven triple in column two. So that cell's not seven, it must be nine. That places a few more digits. Maybe this is forced to be a two, it can't be anything else. These are not eight. This isn't two, one, six rolls these out from being one. This out from being a six, it now can't be seven, so it must be three. This is forced to be a four. That's not two. Okay, these are not one, three, five, eight, so they are two, four, six, seven, nine. And now looking at the one six, which eliminates this from being a six, and it can't be seven, so that must be two. And this is going to be longer than usual because I think I explained a little bit more, but hopefully you can follow me along. This, I thought, was relatively straightforward. Four, six, seven, so this is not six. I don't think I have to mark any triples the rest of the way because I think I've solved the puzzle. At this point, it's just filling out digits. I hope you had an enjoyable time following me along. Let me know how you did in the comments or anything I could have seen to solve this faster. I will admit I'm not the best at scanning the board, but I've gotten a lot better since the start of the year, plus sometimes my wife comes in and helps because she can see things better than I can at times. And 14 minutes is not bad. I will take that time. And don't be afraid to comment.